What's up, everybody? Welcome to your Jam Gym workout DVD. This incredible piece of equipment is called Jam Gym. It's gonna increase your strength, help you get lean, help you get ripped, lose dress sizes, lose weight, get that cardio up. Whole bunch of stuff we can accomplish with the Jam Gym. But before we do any of that, we have to warm up properly. Very crucial, very essential. Anytime you're using your Jam Gym, you have to properly warm up first. So, what we're gonna do, just a couple of quick compound movements to get our blood flowing, then we'll actually get into some deeper stretching utilizing Jam Gym. My name is Dave, helping me out today is Laura. She's a great personal trainer, uh, certified for the National Academy of Sports Medicine. And Johnny is with us today too. And uh, we're gonna show you exactly what you can do with the Jam Gym. First thing though, the warm up, and we're gonna do 15 jumping jacks, nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, 15 squats now. What I want you to do is go down until you're parallel with the floor, nice straight back. You can put your hands behind your head, your hands this way, put your hands up, hands on your hips. That's a personal preference, up to you. But down and up for one, and two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's five, there's four, there's three, there's two, and there's one. Okay, so let's go ahead and utilize our Jam Gym now to go ahead and get some great stretches. First thing we're gonna do is a lat stretch. So take your Jam Gym, both your hands, very simple, position your body to where you can just gently lean back and stretch out those lats. Stretching out your lats, stretching out your lower back. Don't forget about the tailbone, Dave. Pull your bum down. Good point, Laura says, put your tailbone down. Even get a deeper stretch. Laura, how should we be breathing for through these? Deep breath, inhale. Slow breath, fill up the lungs. And then exhale, let it all go. Relax into the position, relax the muscles. You get more stretch that way. Don't tense up. Most people will tense up. Relax, enjoy. So every time I inhale and when we exhale, we actually usually can get further into the range of motion and a deeper stretch on the exhale, correct? Exactly. Which is why relaxing is so important. Okay, from the same position, I'm gonna stretch out our right leg. So what I want you to do is just come up slightly. Now just work that right leg back. You're doing sort of a lunge stretch, but we're use, utilizing our Jam Gym to stabilize. And you should feel this stretching out that right leg, the right hip. We carry a lot of tension in our hips, particularly our right hip. A lot of times people flexing that right hip whenever they are uh, driving, stuck in traffic, whatever. Okay, same thing, left leg. So what we're doing here is we're getting ready to get lean and ripped and toned and lose the weight and gain the strength and get the six pack abs and all the things you wanna do, that's all great, but these couple minutes of stretching out are crucial. We have to crawl before we can walk, so this is a very necessary part of the process before we really get on our way to uh, getting the body that we want. Okay, great. So, next thing we're gonna do is a shoulder stretch. I want you to come forward. Arms behind you. Sort of lean out. Gently lean out. We want healthy tension, but we don't wanna overstretch. And you notice my palms are down on this one. Remember what Laura said? You breathe in, on the exhale, you get further into the stretch. Breathe in, exhale, and okay, we go a little further. Now, take your hands, turn them so that your palms are up and your knuckles are down. That's just gonna give you a different variation on this stretch. Hey Dave, both feet are too hard for me. I had to put one foot in front. Okay. So I find that uh, in my particular instance, my shoulders are a little bit tighter. I can't lean forward. So it might help to step forward 
with one foot if it's too much tension with both legs forward. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, everybody's going to have a different fitness level, different flexibility level. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a hamstring stretch now, guys. So we're going to go that back to that same position. Tailbone down. Now take your right leg, okay? Move it slightly forward. Flex that toe back. We're going to point our toe into the air. Ideally, we're trying to actually point our toe back towards us, like if we were pointing at ourselves with our toe. Stretching out that hamstring. Again, lower back, sore lower back. A lot of that stuff is caused by tight hamstrings. Got to stretch those out. All right, same thing, left leg. Good. Nice. All right, guys. We are warmed up and ready to go, so it's time to rock and roll now with our Jam Gym. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Jam Gym Power 12 workout. I'm Dave Sinclair. Joining me today is personal trainer extraordinaire, certified through National Academy of Sports Medicine, Laura Hi. Williamson. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Laura? I'm well. Can't complain. We're ready to do the Power 12. Now, here's the deal. These are 12 exercises that are going to serve as the foundation for a lot of the other stuff we're gonna do later on. We'll, we'll do some interval training and some aerobic training and all kinds of crazy stuff with the Jam Gym later on. But first, we need to master the Power 12. So these are your 12 basic exercises. With the Jam Gym, we are talking about getting lean, getting toned, losing dress sizes, losing weight, getting the body that you want, all right? Getting that heart rate up, burning the fat, burning the calories, all that we can do on a Jam Gym. But before we can do all that, we need to master these power 12 exercises because it's going to serve as like the foundation of some of the more advanced workouts that we'll do later on. So we have Johnny over here, Renato over here, Laura and myself, and let's go ahead and get into it. The first exercise in our power 12 is going to be a chest press. So what we're going to do is we're going to get up on our toes, all right? You're up on your toes and we're going down and pushing back, down, squeezing at the top. If you want to increase the intensity, you move your feet further back and that increases the intensity. Now I know what you're thinking, well Dave, I've done chest presses before, I've done, you know, bench presses with a bar, I've done flat bench dumbbell presses. You ain't never done a chest press like this before, trust me, <laughs> okay? You're going to get a nice deep stretch and when you come up, really contract those pecs. It's really going to shape all of your pecs. and. Front deltoids really work your triceps at the same time. And if you look at Johnny over here, let's let's get let's get up the intensity on Johnny. Well, actually, Dave, why don't you go back, okay. and I'll take care of Johnny back here. Okay. Because I think he needs my undivided attention right now. <laughs> so. um, let's do this, Johnny. Why don't you walk your feet back a little bit? Because I'm thinking you look great, but I know you can work a little harder, and I think you're not working hard enough. So um, why don't we see what we're working with here? So if you lower down a little bit. You work a little harder, so bend your arms, bend and press. So this is the equivalent of doing an actual push-up on the floor, but what you want to think about is pulling your tailbone down and pulling your stomach in and up. Keep the core strong and long. You don't want to dip in the lower back. You want to keep everything in and up and down. Let's do a couple more because he's doing a fabulous job and he looks good while doing it. One more, one more for good measure and rest. Yeah, that was awesome. Good job. Nicely done. See, I knew you could do it. <laughs> I knew it. I never doubted you for a second. What do we have next? Next thing we're going to do is a chest fly. So the chest press obviously was working on our chest. Chest fly is going to be working on our chest in a different way. Everybody's always talking about, well, I want those nice, you know, clean lines, you know, on my pecs. They want shape to their pecs. Well, the way we do that is with the chest fly. So what I want you to do, same concept, you're up on your toes, all right? But instead of coming down this way and pushing up, I want you to keep your arms slightly bent, but in a fixed position. So slightly bent, but in a fixed position. And you're gonna come down and up. Down and up. Really squeeze those pecs at the top. Wow, you guys look good. And you know you can change the arm positioning. You can go more forward, completely in front, or you can actually walk forward a little bit and you can go a little low with the arm. Work high and low if you want to. Like this is really good. Renato's doing an awesome job again. You could look like this too. This is the jam gym. I mean, this is gonna get you exactly what you want. So, and as you can see, it's working. I'm gonna make a point about Renato here. Very nice. The thing I like about the jam gym, one of, one of the many things I like about the jam gym, 
is every single exercise that you do in a jam gym, you're working your core at the same time. So when was the last time, if you were to do a, a fly exercise like this on a flat bench, you would not be working your core. Look at the guy's core, man. Look, look how his core is firing off. That doesn't happen when you grab a couple of dumbbells and lie down on the flat bench and do this exercise. But you do fire off your core when you do this exercise in the gym. I think I'm gonna give the ladies something to work with. I wanna give them a little chest because I, I think there's a misconception that if women do chest, they're gonna get a big chest. So even though these guys, you know, they're doing them, us ladies, we can do them too. Okay. So I wanna give them an option to do that. I'm gonna put one foot in front because actually that height is a little difficult for me. And so from here, I'm gonna go elbows back. I'm gonna try chest press first and then I'm gonna try the chest fly. So you can see the difference between the two. And so from here, you're just gonna push. You're gonna lean in and squeeze across because this is going to be awesome. Again, wearing those sundresses, those little tops we like to wear this time of year, or any time of year actually, and just push and then chest fly. So once again, I'm still going to keep that foot in front. It's going to be easier for me. I'm going to open out to the side and I'm going to squeeze. And I'm going to lift off of the back heel a little bit too, just to give me a little more to work with because this again is a little challenging and just squeeze across the chest, all right? That works everything here, just to give you a heads up, okay? So that's what a lot of us want to work, okay? And squeeze. I'm gonna do a couple more, and then we'll move on. Okay. Okay. So Laura, why don't you go ahead and um, show the ladies and the guys, for that matter, how we do squats in the gym gym. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do squats, but just give us the, the real basic biomechanics of how we do squats in the gym gym. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take it back. And I think I'm gonna go sideways. All right, this is gonna be great for flexibility. You're gonna lean back, arms up, stick your bottom out, and then we're gonna start to the right side. So we're gonna stop and sit into our right cheek, bottom, and then change sides. Step back over and sit. Stretching the opposite leg and sit. And just keep moving with it. And you know, this is a little bit like cardio at the same time because you're constantly moving. And we're gonna get in, and we're gonna get into lunges later on as well, too. Go ahead and show us the, the most basic, just the basic squat. You want a basic squat? Okay. Arms up here. And sit your bottom back and down as if you're sitting into a chair. So you wanna sit down, push through the heels, squeeze your bottom, and stand up. Actually, keep the bottom tight the entire time. Sit it down and bring it up. If you've ever been to a baseball game, it's like a wave. Yeah, ha, like ha, a wave. Ha, ha. Yeah, it is. There it is. Well, you know what I love about this too is, and you know this from being a accredited personal trainer with years of personal training experience, Laura. Very, very, very few people do squats properly. Most people screw squats up when they do them. And the problem with that is if you don't do squats with absolute perfect form with a bar, you strain your lower back, you strain your knees, and it's just, it's, it's, none of it's good. This is true. And with the Jam Gym, if you do them exactly the way Laura's telling you, it takes that pressure off your lower back and that pressure off your knees and just takes everything and isolates the glutes, the thighs, the hamstrings, gives you the shape, gives you the definition. And the other thing too that's cool uh, is we are working the largest muscle group in your body basically. Your hamstrings and your glutes, these are the largest muscles in your body, so you burn more fat, you burn more calories, and that's gonna speak more to losing the pounds and the inches and really getting your overall fitness goals and getting you nice and leaned out. You gotta get that heart rate up if you're gonna get lean, and one of the best ways to get that heart rate up is to work this gigantic muscle group. So I get cardio and I get the tone and tighten my bottom you and legs at the, and same tone and tight at the same time. Anytime we can get great resistance training combined with great cardio training at the same time, that's fantastic because we're getting double the results in in half the time, right? So that's all good. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, show a bicep curl on this. It's all yours. Lots of different ways we can do curls. And uh, we'll show you tons of variations on curls before it's all said and done. But right now we're just gonna do a basic curl. So again, we're going down, right? Get your tailbone nice and low and keep your arms and your shoulders stationary, but just Pull up. Squeeze at the top. Now you are really getting your biceps nice and isolated. As I said, 
You can do them alternate if you want. You can alternate the curls if you want. Hey, I'll just show you that very quickly. But for now, we're going down hey, Dave. and up. Yes, ma'am. I had to um, adjust Johnny again. Okay. Because he wasn't working up to his full potential again. <laughs> so so we're um, going to get him a little more so intense back there. So we walked his feet forward a little bit, yes. Um, and if you notice, now he's closer to the floor. By walking your feet forward, you lower yourself, and they're more resistance. Well, I'm going to give myself some more resistance, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there Big you difference. go. Yeah, you know, lift your bottom. And that is now the I'm general gonna go rule. Now I'm going to go over to Renato, yeah? And the yep. general rule, Laura, is the closer to the floor, the more the intensity. Exactly, because at that point, you have gravity working against you, too. So that's where your resistance is coming from, your body weight and gravity. Nice. Uh -huh. Everybody, guys got your biceps nice and pumped now? <laughs> okay. Yeah, everything's firing now. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I tell you what, you use your body weight with the Jam Jam, I'll put that up against any $5,000 piece of equipment any day of the week. So, we're gonna do triceps now. Again, we're up on our toes, right? Our heels up off the floor. Try to keep your elbows in as much as you can. Going down and pressing back. And let's bring the elbows in a little bit. You get deeper, more intensity. And lunge lady arms. You know that jiggle situation that happens from? The loose skin on the back of the arms, that's a big pet peeve of a lot of people. A lot of people. And the way we tighten that up is with movements like this on the gym. Here. Exactly. And you want a long neck, lift your chin up just a little bit. You remember medium sized orange maybe between the chin and the chest? Okay. You always want a long spine, not too far forward, not too far back, look ahead. And there you go, bend and straighten. And that's it. And you could do single arm too. So remember, we can do one arm at a time, or we can do two arms at a time. And actually, I'm going to visit Renato. And actually, Renato, we're going to do one arm at a time. And extend. Actually, let's just do the left, and you keep the right still, and bend and straighten on this one. So bend and straighten, and press. Walk your feet in a little bit. Come forward to me. And then just work one arm. And straighten. So when you just do one arm, it's going to be harder for you to do, obviously. So you might want to walk in a little bit and then press with one because you don't have the strength of two. And again, just to reiterate this, you always have the option of putting one foot forward. Exactly. Because that's also going to adjust the intensity level. Exactly. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so uh, we're going to go back to lower body. You have a great variation mm -hmm. uh, leg exercise, a lunge, sort yes. of a side lunge. Go oh, ahead yes. and show us that. Okay, so the side lunge, we gotta go back. So let's do the side lunge. All right. It's an awesome exercise. All right, so this is great for stretching out. Some of you who have the lack of flexibility and mobility in the hips and going sideways. Arms up front, sit back and down as if you were going into your lunge again, except your bottom's further back, and step to the right side. So step and stretch out the left leg and lean into it and alternate and step to the left and alternate and keep moving with it. I'm gonna move a little faster because I want you to know that you can pick up the pace on this if you want to. Because again, this can be cardio for you. This could uh, actually strengthen the heart muscle and it helps in a lot of different areas. Can I jump in here? Yes, absolutely. For a second? Why not? Look, look at this. Check out the striations in her leg, okay? That's what you're gonna get with the Jam Jam because what you're doing is you're using your body weight and really getting such a targeted, isolated workout. The Jam Jam puts you biomechanically in such great positions to really, really get deep, deep, deep into that muscle tissue. And there's only two things you can carry on your body. You can carry muscle, you can carry fat. It's not like there's a third choice. Yes, okay, there so is. ladies. A nice handbag. Yeah, the nice handbag's a third choice, okay. But for the most part, it's muscle or fat. That is the deal, all right? So ladies, what do you want on your hamstrings and your glutes and your thighs? You want nice toned muscle or do you want option B, fat? Obviously, we all know the answer to that. It's just a matter of getting you in the right formulation to maximize your potential and, and, and really get everything firing. And again, with this lunge, it's the biggest muscles in your body. It's your glutes, your hips, your thighs, your hamstrings, the large muscle groups, takes more oxygen to fire that off, which means you're burning more fat, burning more calories. Okay, so uh, why don't you go ahead and show us some ab work now. All right, all right, so basically we stay where we are. Both hands are up, hold on to both handles, 
and you can bring your hands together above your head, but for now, drop your hips to the right and hold on above your head. So lower and pull in and up. And so it's kind of like that fly exercise we showed earlier. Your arms are in a fixed position, but they're bent. Exactly. Okay. You want all your work to come from here. And you know, I'm gonna go back to the same thing I said a few minutes ago. This movement, your body weight, and the Jam Gym, I will put that up against any $5,000 machine that you'll find in any fitness center anywhere because with that ab movement, you just you don't find this ab movement in typical gyms. You just don't find it. It just doesn't, it, you don't get this configuration. How many more? Ah, give me three <laughs> more and we'll go ahead and move on to the shoulders. Really burning those obliques in. It's awesome. You can see the core firing in both of these guys and Renato and Johnny. Okay, let's do a shoulder press now. I'll show the guys this if that's okay. cool. Okay, yep, So it is. if you recall, people, with our power 12 here as we make our way through. Remember a few minutes ago, I showed you this chest press. Okay, same basic idea in terms of the starting position, only this time, I want you to push straight up over your head. Now, we're working in a different way. We're working those shoulders, working the deltoids, still engaging the core, getting those upper back muscles. And much like the chest press, if you've done military presses or seated behind the neck presses or whatever in the gym, great, that's fine, that's cool, but you know what? Those aren't working your core at the same time. So Dave? These are. I've, yes. I've made, a, made my way back over to Johnny again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're upping Johnny's intensity again. <laughs> yeah, we did. Well, you actually like what we did, that. we have, uh, yeah, we have his arms higher this time. So instead of being lower, we're higher now, and he has one foot in front. But that didn't de decrease the amount of intensity. I just wanted him to go higher and then go deeper at the top of the shoulder. So, so I have him, him change it. So by putting the foot forward in this case, you're you're changing his range of motion. Exactly. In, in addition to, in some other cases, putting the foot forward, you're adjusting the intensity. And less stress on the shoulder for someone who might not be able to maintain that at the same time. So yes, I did a few different things here. Cool. Yeah, because I mean, everybody's different body is different yeah. but different. this is yeah this is a different exercise altogether just all right guys turn around let's go ahead and show a lat pull so what we're going to do here is again tailbone down and i want you to keep everything stationary except pull up see the way i'm squeezing my lats at the top here and down up and down. This is crazy, crazy isolation on your lats. Just fantastic. You know, I've been around the fitness game more than just a couple of years. I won't tell you how many. I don't want to age myself too much. But trust me, I've done tons of lat pull downs and tons of lat exercises on a lot of different machines. And I'll put this up against anything any day of the week. So Dave, I want to point something out here with Renato. You can literally see his lats oh, firing. Yeah. I mean, craziness. literally, you see everything working down the sides of the spine you here. You can't fake you that. You want it right here. Way. You just can't you know? fake that. And then the more you do, the stronger you get. And you can see it's a hard workout because you can see oh, the yeah. sweat coming down. So this is definitely not an easy workout, but it's definitely the workout you want to get this type of look. Look. Definitely. I don't know how many reps I just did. 15, maybe 12? Maybe 100, I don't know. No, my <laughs> lats are screaming and my cardio is up and I'm doing lats. Yeah. Okay, That's so let's go ahead and show a reverse fly now. I'm gonna go ahead and let you demonstrate this, Laura. All right. This is a great exercise for women too because they're always wanting the strapless, you know, uh, back showing dresses and that sort of thing. This is ideal for that. My tube tops, my little strappy, my maxi dresses, all that good stuff. Yeah. That's typically what I think of. And my little tanks up, like you just said. Yeah. So you're gonna lean back into this, all right? And you're just gonna open. Open the arms and bring them back together like you're gonna give a great big hug. And open and close. And just rock back onto the heels and open and close. Drop the body. Now remember, same rules apply here about the core, 
about the abs and about the spine. Keep everything long and engaged. Stomach, the abs, the w muscles in the stomach are always working. Always working. They don't get a break here. And pull. And squeeze. Crack a walnut between the shoulder blades. I think we can do a few more and we're done. Yeah? Yeah, just a couple more, and then we're going to have our final exercise with the Power 12. All right, that's good, guys. All right, let's do some push-ups. Okay. And again, you know, this is another great example with the Jam Gym. People say, oh, I don't like doing push-ups. They're boring. And unlike <laughs> regular push-ups, all right, regular push-ups, we don't really work our abs the same way we're working on the Jam Gym. So it's completely different. So what we're going to do is we're going to get down, and these straps, see these straps, guys? This strap is going to go over this part of your shoe sort of where the bottom of your toes are, all right? That's what we're gonna do. Now we are locked in, ready to go with our Jam Jam push-ups. Going up, keeping our abs nice and tight, down and up, down and up. And just like regular push-ups, we can do different variations of it. Tons of them. We can go down, we can go down, do pauses. I love doing pauses. They're great for building explosive power. When you go down, and hey, Dave, let's change it up a little. Let's try a push-up with arms closer to the body. So elbows in, you get... Closed grip push-ups. Yeah. Closed grip push-ups, which, Laura, what that's going to do is it's going to work more of our, what, our triceps, right? And hold. Bring your knees down. We're going to work more of our triceps with a closed grip push-up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, also with the closed grip, if you want to, because these can be kind of challenging when you change the grip, I've had Johnny bring his knees down so he can get more emphasis oh, on, okay. on the triceps. Okay. Okay. So, so it's still a push-up. We're not taking anything away. We're just giving them the opportunity just to work. Just doing a different variation. Exactly. Well, you know, I mean, and that's the great thing about the Jam Gym is there is so many different variations that you can do on, on all of the exercises. You can adjust the intensity or the focus simply by changing your foot positioning or, or off your knees or whatever. Well, here, I got, I got another one for you then if that's the case. Uh, Renato's going to walk out for us. So, Renato, I want you to walk your hands out, press your legs back and you're going to bring your push-up more forward. I want your feet off the floor more. Wow. More. Walk, walk. Okay, there. A, a little more, a little more. Walk forward, one more. Yes, now try it. Now, now down and up. Oh, that's super intense. Now there's your push-up. That right is there. super intense. Look at the feet. They're off the floor. He's at least a foot off the floor, more than, actually. That's a super decline. And that decline. changes the challenge altogether. This that's is what you want to do. Look at the distance here. That's a super declined push-up. Exactly. That's intense. Uh -huh. Let's do three more, because Ronaldo's really getting worked. There's three. There's two. Last one. There's one. Nice, uh, guys. Good job. There you go. Nice. <laughs> How you guys feel? Woo. Excellent. Nice job. Nice job. Good nice job. Nice job. Your power 12. You guys are awesome. Those are the 12 exercises that's going to build the foundation for your gym gym workouts, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get even more advanced, but those 12, master those, and you will be good to go to, to, to grow and really just reach unlimited potential with your jam gym, all right? So we'll see you next time around. Thanks, guys. Power 12.